you should be good to go. Oh, Solange is uh, make her Melissa panelists. Okay. Let's see. Let's see okay, so uh, Solange and Melissa are in. I believe they just need to turn on their cameras and their audio. My camera is on. I just can't make it work. Oh, okay. So I, I don't know what's happening. This keeps happening every time I try to do Zoom. Like I can get into a meeting or something one, t one time and then the next time. So I don't know what happened. I'm trying to reset the, trying to get to the, the settings and it's not letting me set, it's not letting me put up the camera. I don't know why. Okay. Um, okay so we're live. You can call the meeting to order. Uh, whatever, whatever your pleasure is. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, let's call the meeting to order. Okay, so Marina, you're calling it? I'll call the meeting to order. Do okay, we have a second? I'll second. Okay. And what time is it? 7.04, it looks like. 7.04, okay. He's asked for a vote. I, I don't know what's going on here. Can we have a vote? Thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm in favor. Aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. Yes. Thanks, Dan. Okay, hi, everybody. Hi. Do we have Solange in? Uh, she she's in. So. She's unmuted. Oh, she's muted. Hi. Hi there. Hi, Hi. Solange. Hello. Okay. So, thanks everybody for showing up this evening. Really appreciate it. Um, and it's good to be together, even though we can't quite be together. Right. So I'm sorry to say that Jackie's not able to be here tonight. Um, her her dad is not doing well, um, mm -hmm. and she went up to Boston to see him suddenly just uh, this morning. So we're sending Jackie good wishes and her dad. Yeah, um, absolutely. And just so we all know, Joyce Marie is with us by phone. It looks like Solange is with us by phone as well and maybe Melissa, but not No, sure. I'm not by phone. I just can't get the camera to work. The light's on, but the, the, the picture's black. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Um, how. Well, if you if you pop in, that's great. Otherwise, at least uh, you can hear us, and we can hear you in the meantime. Um, I don't know how to set this. I uh, I wanted to share some news uh, up front, which is that unfortunately, I'm so sad. Jamie had to step down from the committee. Oh. So I think she's really been hit hard by. COVID, her business, and uh, she is supposed to be getting married in October. Uh, she has just a lot going on right now, and um, she definitely will be around to help, but right now she said that she really can't meet the commitment. Mm -hmm. So Understand. so that's really sad, but uh, we'll talk about, you know, filling these spots later and uh, sending Jamie lots of good wishes, because I, I know her business in particular like so many depends on having people show up there. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's let's go with the agenda and okay. uh, the mask update. So I guess by now everybody has seen mm -hmm. the poster. Yep. yep. Thank you to Solange and Jane for going around town and uh, helping to get all these posters out. And That's we true. have four boxes. Um, one is at the library, one is at the regatta, one is at the Marinette uh, Diner, and the other one is at the Marine Center. So um, we haven't gotten a lot of submissions. I don't know what today's update is. Um, no, I can check them tomorrow. I, I know the library, they called me, they had one the other day. Oh. Um, now the deadline was supposed to be August 10th, which is next Monday, but I'm proposing that we move it to August 28th yeah, and yeah. kind of redouble our efforts on, on right. getting people involved. So that takes us to the end of the month and then, you know, we'll put the thing together, the quilt together. I still feel like we're really going to get people to participate, but we, we need a push. Um, the library is super committed because that's where the quilt is going to be hanging. And they really are excited about the idea. So um, they're going to be sending out an email blast this Wednesday. And next Wednesday, I've agreed to do um, a Zoom painting session for, for their you know, population, whoever's going to sign on. 
with them and they're doing some publicity around that. So if anybody wants to join me, um, I'll, I'll be painting outside at my house in the back. And I just thought, you know, I'll probably try to find a kid or two um, or a volunteer or a member or somebody. But these are the, these are the little masks that, that were on the poster. And um, it's, it's not hard to paint these, but y you definitely have to work uh, with the Sharpies or with the acrylic paints to, to really get the paint um, onto these surfaces because they're, they're absorbent and, and the Sharpies, Sharpies work best actually with, with some acrylic, but I don't know. I mean, you can see details in some of them. Yeah. I am really hoping that people get, you know, use this as a way to express themselves. And, and a lot of the people I've spoken with say, you know, especially the kids, they have a lot of ideas for what they want to say, like no school or Black Lives Matters or, you know, just something yeah. of this moment, which is what I think we're all hoping that this is, is an expression of this moment, which is really what, you know, art can be. Um, I, made, I made one, but unfortunately, because my camera won't work, I can't show you. Uh, Marina saw it. Um, yeah. I had trouble with the, with the paint, you know, trying to do with the Sharpies. Um, but um, what I can do is if, um, you know, I, I don't know why my camera is not working. The light is on on my, on my screen, on my computer. I don't know why it doesn't want to work tonight, but I did make one and I, I did have problems with it. It's not as easy as, you, as it, I had trouble with it. So, yeah, I mean, I it, it, takes, it takes a little bit of work. Um, but I mean, I, I did these with a friend. We made 12 in about two hours. So it wasn't nice. Mm. Yeah, it, really and, and some of them are super detailed. Yeah. So it's COVID. Yeah. Um, you get the point. Flowers. <laughs> They're pretty. Very nice. Very pretty. Love. Uh, anyway, so, you know, it's possible. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll work on it. So I wanted to ask you if... Maria, Maria yeah. when, is, when is your paint session next Wednesday? Wednesday at 4 o'clock at the library. Thank you. I mean, that's when the library is going to be Zooming it. Okay. And uh, they told me that they're going to be sending the link and publicizing through the village, different village offices, and I'm not really sure which ones, but they're kind of handling that. Marina, so have, next. have you sent it to Robert and Janito? Um, I sent, uh, well, the Zoom link for next week, you mean? A flyer. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I sent him a flyer and I sent him some videos and um, and I'll make sure that he gets, um, I, I'm sure he will get the library notice, but I'll, I'll drop him a note about that too. Marina, um, um, I, Marina, I was thinking one other possibility would be for people to mail in the mask to either our mailbox at the village or possibly, the, but I guess that's better. If not Absolutely. the library, they wouldn't want to get it. Because I'm thinking that people could easily just put it in an envelope and mail it. Yeah, absolutely. So right? instead of like an extra step going to some place to drop it off, I'm just thinking all of us would be so much easier. I don't. We didn't think of that to just put it in an envelope and and the address to the village to our art, you know, arts council. Um, and also, maybe Robert will put it on the Village News, but I'm not finding it on Village News right now. I could, well, I have a login to our webpage on the Village's website. If, um, Marina, if you send me a PDF or a JPEG of the poster, I could uh, put it up on our website on the Village's page. Okay. Don't forget the change of, of, of date. Right. Uh, change of date in terms of when the deadline. The yeah, when it's due. What did you the say? Deadline. The deadline fixed. Uh, the deadline is uh, the twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. Okay. Uh, which I think is a Friday. 
Um, so the change of deadline, and also I like the idea, Jane, of the mail-in. So yeah. we'll put. I think it's easier. We have a PO, right? Right. Okay. I, I, well, uh, it would be the um, Regatta our Arts Council at the Regatta, one two three Maranac Avenue. But Nora, is uh, is the office open? Yes, the office is open, and even when it wasn't open, there was someone checking mail every day. So yeah, I mean the office is not open to the public, but the, right. but the staff open, is there. people are there. Yeah, Sally's yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. So make sure it's Village of Maranac Arts Council, one two three Maranac. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay, so. I'll add those two things. Um, that's a good idea. Um, so we we had this running on Facebook, and then I took a chance and boosted it. I don't know if anybody saw it. If anybody's on Facebook, um, I got a report back. It was a twenty-five dollar commitment to to boost it for two weeks, and apparently, you know, it was it was viewed six hundred times. I don't know if this is Facebook telling me this, or I have no idea. Um, but, but there were some comments and I, um, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know, you know, what kind of enthusiasm or not that this generated, but, um, for those of you that may or may not remember, there are free masks given out at the library. So we've, we've given them a box of disposable face masks to distribute. Um, so let's see. Paint parties. Anybody have an idea about getting together some paint parties? Um, any any ideas about how we can stimulate this a little bit more? Well, I, I did ask um, Deborah Mineta to see if she could post it also for the uh, where she for the social media that she sends out to the to the whole. Larchmont and Maranac and Rynek. And I think she said if we were willing to have all of those people participate, she could she could mail it out. So why not? Uh, is that okay, Sherry? Do you know Nora and Dan? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that there's a limit on who can submit something. Okay. Because presumably, mean, like if I had somebody visiting. I'm sure they'd want to do it and they yeah. would just submit it. So it doesn't right. really. It really, I, I think it really doesn't matter. So I'll ask her if she. Put it this way, we'll take them. Yeah, we'll take them, right. <laughs> All right, so I'll talk the to her more tomorrow. the better. I still, yeah. want, I still yeah. want 200. Yeah, she was going to tell her art teacher too. I wish we had access to art teachers who could, may, I don't know, who could maybe sure. help, but. Um, there, you know, the. Um, in Larchmont, if we're going to include Larchmont, there's that one river school. Jack, right that's across from Foley's. What do you need the arts teacher for? Well, it would be nice um, if we had art teachers who had access to students who could ask them to make a mask, send it in, that kind of thing. Got it. Got it. Um, did some. Are there any camps that are in session in the area? Right. Not to ask the same. Good question. idea. Yeah. Are there? Do we know? Are yeah, Right Nature Center is having their camp. <clears throat> I know uh, the Marine Education Center is having one too, but they they're kind of on board with us. But I'll uh, I'll put in a call to them again. Right Nature Center. Can yeah. we extend to them? Yeah. Yeah. You want? Um, if you send me you know, a JPEG or something, I will s electronically send it to them. Should I, should I drop off? Um, I pass there every single day. Should I drop off one of these posters? Sure. Yeah. And if you Call could. Call out the date. And Marina, if you could okay. have some masks with you, because if they're responsive, it'd be easier just to give it to them as an art project for the kids. Yeah. Having, for them not to have to order it, there's another right. step involved. And then we could pick them up. That's a great idea. Just leave them there. I mean, because it's too hard to drop off, I think. Anyway. I would, yep. I, I, Marina, I would call them first because um, they didn't even allow outside counselors to be hired this summer because they don't want outside people there. So I would call them first to make sure you're allowed to come. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, dropping off the masks, the easier we make it for them, the better. Right. So. And it, it's a great art project for the kids. They're looking to fill their time. Yeah. Because they can't, you know, they're limiting us to what they can do with the kids. You know what? Um, I'll drop the, I will speak to the Rye Y tomorrow. I, I swim there in the mornings. So I wasn't thinking about Rye, but they've got camp every single day. Small, small camp, but I see them doing other art projects. So I think it's a great idea. I'll bring some, I'll bring them some masks and, um, all right, I feel our numbers going up right now. Yeah, I think right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, we deliver, we pick up, we'll, right. we'll make it easy. <laughs> All right, okay, Rye Arts, Rye Nature. Um, we got Camps, Debbie Mineta, any yeah. other art teachers? Um, did Can anybody see? see the post on Nextdoor? I guess I can run I that can. again. No, and I never saw it. Uh -uh. Rhineck Parents, Sherry, did you see that? Yeah, I put it on Rhineck uh, Parents, um, and I put it on, right, wait, what did I say? I put it on, I put it on Rhineck Parents, so maybe we both did. Oh, yeah, maybe we both did. But uh, I didn't, I didn't, I think there was one comment, so maybe I, we, it's time to run that, that again. Okay, now you can't hear me. Yeah, I shared it, like I took um, the post from our Facebook page and shared it to mine and to Rhineck parents, but I could do that again. Okay. Yeah, and let's always make sure to update that deadline. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, August 28th. Okay, so we've got the collaboration with the library next week. I thought I heard somebody. Um, the Rye Nature Center, the Rye Y. I'm going to ask Jamie if she can get her kids involved. She might be able to do that. Yeah. You also you also said the marina, or the uh, in the park. The marine center. The marine center. Yeah. yeah. Now you know what they know about it. They've yeah. been promoting it. But right. to your point, I think I'm going to bring them some masks. Mm -hmm. so. And they could have the kids put fish on it as an as a project. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. Okay. You know, if you need help delivering the masks, I can help you. Tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Jane. Yeah. Should I uh, post it on Love Larchmont? Yeah? I think so. Okay. I, I, I say that we really get behind this. And, you know, the worst, worst thing is that we have too many and we have to select or whatever. So, so what I'll, I could post on Love Larchmont, send it to the loop, Larchmont loop. Um, you know, that sort of thing. All right. Okay, great. All right, any more on the masks? I think I'm good. I think we have some good ideas. Okay, yeah. thanks everybody. Hopefully we'll you know, I have one more idea. Um, if you send it to Pat Allen, she'll post it for girls. She could post it for Girl Scouts Large Want the Marinus. I'll send her email it because they make this work. Yeah. Do that right. Um Nora, you're going to send me the her I address, her email. Right now. Yep. Thanks. Okay, that's a great idea. Are they doing things this summer, the girls? Um, well, I, they're not really. I mean, individual troops can do things by themselves. So this is a good leader. Or a couple of decide to do with their own family. But at least they can get out of communications yeah. blast, maybe. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, and next Wednesday, if anybody wants to come paint with me, you know. I'll come paint with you. <laughs> yeah? I'll come paint. Thanks, Violet. I'll send you my address. Okay. It's 811 the park. I'll wear my mask. I'll come clean up, but I'm not going to paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody clean up. Not many no people order, offer to do that. That's great. I'm better at painting walls. I'm very good at painting walls. So then <laughs> so you're painting a wall, Nora, and you'll paint a mask, okay? Okay. It's not that, art is not that hard. It's hard, but it's not bad. Um, the next point is local entertainment options. And Jackie was going to talk about this because she was in touch with, um, I don't know, is it Robert that was communicating with her about the... Um, Jason, probably Jason. Jason? Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't have an update here. Um, you know, they were talking about doing some bands downtown. Um, while people are eating, that kind of thing. But yeah, 
I honestly had no update on that. Okay, so we're good. So we're going to table that till. Yeah. Um, the next one is art on the avenue. Uh, an idea that Violet had mentioned, and I know that um, that it's that remains to be discussed. Um, so Violet, I don't know if you want if you have any questions that you need help with or you want to um, put forth right now, or if if you want to well, discuss that later. Um, I have had some thoughts about it because in the middle of packing and unpacking and packing and unpacking and cleaning, because as I, I told uh, Marina, I ended up having to move out of my home in, the, in March during a pandemic and lived at the Hyatt for mm -hmm. 10 weeks. And then they moved all my stuff back home mm -hmm. and I unpacked basically for a month and a half now. So I haven't been tremendously focused, but um, I would, and I have no experience on how to contact all of the people to begin to set it up. I need to know, because my idea is to, again, in some type of a, either Zoom, like you're doing with the masks, to have, provide, have somehow get have people be able to pick up a kit, basic paints, basic brushes, and a canvas, and begin to work or even possibly do some Zoom teaching on some basic color theory, some basic, a very simple, we're not going to do, you know, the foundation class at Pratt, so that people can express themselves and it would all be a standard size, nothing too big, you know, a two by two or, or smaller um, feet is more than big enough. Um, and find a way to have that then place in the windows or even in the restaurants themselves so that if people pass by or picking up stuff, they can see it. Yeah. And, the, and the restaurants can promote it also as, you know, supporting People will go and see their own art. They can tell their friends that it's on there. They can walk up and down before it gets too cold. Um, you know, I would say by the, the latest October to have it out and people can still go around and see and not limit it to artists, but to everyday people because so many people do have artistic abilities. They just don't have enough um, faith in themselves or belief in themselves that they're not artists. So that's that's my idea. I need help on how to on how to put this together because I've never done it like this. So thoughts, Madame and gentlemen. Uh, I'm I'm glad you you've described it again. I I had a different understanding of what you wanted to do. I don't know mm -hmm. about everybody else. Um, I'm I'm thinking about a little bit about what Dan suggested with the masks and and how sometimes it's easier to get people the material and then. Mm -hmm. Um, so, like, if if we do this and we have to all discuss it, um, do we make small canvases available to everybody? Um, you know, maybe they can pick them up for a nominal fee or not. Do we cover that fee? Um, because likely we're not going to get much many more than I don't know if we're lucky, like forty participants or something like that. Off the top 40 of my head, pieces of, forty pieces of art is a start. It's a start. Yeah. And I think making it easier by giving people or having available the supply. Some people may already have things, but some people, they don't have a brush. They don't know where to start. They don't know they're going to, you know, to overwhelm them and say, go make art. is like telling somebody, here's a stove, go cook if you've never seen one before. It becomes too overwhelming for them to simplify it and make it so good. I think before you get into that step of it, um, if it's something you want to do with the businesses in town, your first step should be approaching the businesses that you want to participate with you and find out if they're amenable to having um, the art hang in their businesses. Because I could tell you we've been through this once before. It was a completely different time. Now I think businesses in town would be more amenable to, to doing something like this. But even when I went around hanging posters, uh, as everybody who's done it before knows, not everybody wants something in their window and not yeah. everybody, you know, so it's before you talk about investing money and, and I believe me, we have plenty of money if you want to give kits to people who are interested. I don't, don't worry about that. I don't think that's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Your first step has to be, is it, viable That's and a good point. Yeah. It, it's the logistics um of 
the business going mm -hmm. to businesses that you have to focus on first. Okay. Okay. Do you need it? Would you like contact with the Chamber of Commerce to reach out to, or do you just want to speak to the uh, stores individually? I, I think, honestly, you could start with the Chamber of Commerce, but I know some of the businesses are not part of the Chamber, okay. and it probably is better off um, approaching them face to face. Okay. Because <laughs> it's easier for them to poo poo it and say, I, I can't be bothered right now if they just get an email. But if you actually go in and talk to people and they get to know you and they get mm -hmm. to know that the Arts Council is here to help them, yeah. as well as them helping us, then they might be a little warmer to the idea. Do you, do you think so, it might be helpful to, to have, go in and talk to them and have some, like a, a written proposal? Yes. That's something, yeah. Yes. Yes, you need something so, to show them, like with the Arts Council logo. And, yeah. It doesn't have to be um, necessarily a poster, but something that makes it more official. Right. right, rather than somebody just walking in the door and yeah, saying, right, right, right. Yeah, we just I'll try not to wear my crazy lady glasses or something like that. Right, and that's when we were doing the murals, um, that's what uh, Leon did. They had um, the, just uh, an eight and a half by 11 proposal uh, with it all spelled out and how much it cost and what, what they wanted the businesses to do and their responsibility, whatever. And so they spoke to them face to face and but was able to leave them the proposal so that they would remember, they didn't have to write things down. Yeah. In front of them. So I'm just, as a business owner, I'm thinking you're approaching me to say, you want to put a piece of art in my window. Basically, I'm saying this purposely, I would say most are not going to be wanted to be receptive because they're not going to know what's on that canvas, which is in their window representing them. Right. However, perhaps if we do something as a way to promote Mamaronek or the business somehow in the art that we're promoting at the village of Mamaronek, that's a more positive message that they're getting and they may want to be part of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know you're limiting creativity here, but I think we're giving a consistent message that they would want to then promote themselves. Right, right. Because I don't think anybody wants, you know, reclining nude in their window, which is perfectly acceptable, but I can just see the screaming on the avenue when they have a reclining nude in somebody's window. Um, so, yeah, that where we, we um, do like, you know, scenes of, of, of plein air or photographs of the of Mamaronek, of, of the places that they like in Mamaronek. You know, where, be it the harbor, be it the gazebo, be it, you know, down um, in the marshlands even. That you could even, and I, I'm jesting, but you could even have buy here now would help them too. But you know what I'm saying is that it helped, this is something they need right now. As you said, not a reclining nude. That's not gonna be what they need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the other thing is also don't forget is that most of the businesses will not want you to put anything or nor will ha they have the capability of putting something in their window. They may be more amenable to hanging it on a wall or to have it by the cash register or right. on an easel. Um, you know, those are things to think about that need to be in the proposal. So don't limit yourself to windows because I will tell you they will not want that. Um, and they want people to come into their store. Right, exactly. Um, yeah, Grace Marie. Right. And so you really can't hang a canvas on a window. That's hard. No, no, you can't. And, and you know what? It, it doesn't, it also doesn't have to be um, the canvas that's, you know, canvas over a stretched frame. It could be the flat canvases that yeah, they use. Flat. Right. Which right. Which would be less funny. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right. And they, they, you get those in bulk. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's even canvas paper. My daughter just, just ordered a whole book of canvas paper. There are ways to do it if businesses are pushing back a little bit about hanging things. Mm -hmm. You could do it on canvas paper. So that's something that can be taped, you know, mm -hmm. with the blue yeah. painter's tape, um, which is easy to take off. So there's all different things you can do to, to work with businesses, but getting the businesses on board is really where you need to start. Okay. All right. Well, now that well, I'm wondering about the businesses, like um, because if you have it in the windows, it's it's not necessarily going to drive traffic. 
Um, so and I'm thinking about the restaurants. And yeah. one of the things I think is that we, we should propose as part of our, our whole outlook of this whole thing, um, a date that, you know, the celebration starts so that there's an opening. Um, yeah. And maybe if the restaurants want to participate, um, you know, or, or I'm trying to think of what other businesses are open right now for people to circulate. Well, you know what you can do, uh, you know, after that petition went around and the village allowed the restaurants to have part of the street and the parking spaces, then we could buy easels and yeah. just set the easel up in front of the restaurant window. And then at the end of the night, the restaurant takes it inside. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's portable. That's a good idea. And then if you want to have like an opening night or something, yeah. it's the easels all up and down the Maranek Avenue of, of the community's artwork. I think I don't know. So I'm just trying to figure out things. And now that things have, again have settled down with my life, I don't want to say that too loudly. Um, I can I can focus because I have not been able to focus since March <laughs> at all. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I really like this idea and I like it you know, we'll be done with the masks and then we can move yeah. into this. Right. Um, I also think it's not very hard for us to do like an art walk, um, you know, almost the way yeah. the easels, I mean, the the murals last year or two, several years ago. Um, and, you know, it, it, it might not be unthinkable just to do a dedicated little app or website. Um, you know, maybe we carry it on our own, um, you know, Facebook and it can stream or I, I don't know, there are a lot of ways to think about it. Um, but we, we can actually, if we come up with a theme, I think a theme is really important. Like, like you were saying before, um, Mamaronek, I, I think it should be something other How than about Mamaronek Dreams. Sorry? Mamaronek Dreams. Mamaronek Dreams. It's our home. Our, well, it's, it's, yeah. I like that. I mean, or Mamaronic hopes. I like hopes a lot. Um, Mama just checks to see if some of those are already registered. Because I know we that happened with uh, when um, we had those Mamaronic uh, shares events a couple of years ago. They changed the name because they want we just want to do Mamaronic cares, and that was already registered to someone. So. Mm. Um. um and hope and hopefully somebody because I'm not particularly graphic design is not you know is not one of my fortes. Um, so if somebody's good with graphic design, once we come up with an idea of uh, the poster or handout or however we're going to do it for Facebook or it's whatever Instagram, I don't even know what half of the stuff is because uh, I've been out of this for so long um, on how to promote it, but also just to make it as simple as possible for people so that they're not overthinking it. Oh, there's it. There you are. Hi, Melissa. Hi. Hi. Melissa. Um, I'm, I'm re I restarted my computer, so I'm going to try to see if I can get it to work so that I'm not already in working a little box and that my phone doesn't die. <laughs> but I'm um, sort of here. I'm working on my computer. Uh, so. Violet, we do, we do have a, a you know, a kind of a look for our posters and yes. and this one has our logo on it, you know, so whatever we do, we'll, I, I could create something like that. Because we, it's um, good to keep it consistent. So that yeah, have we, we have a whole kind of marketing look that we developed about a year ago. So yeah, it will definitely um, reflect that. Um, do, are, are you available to take this on? Do you want to start putting the elements that we've discussed together? Does somebody no, else want to work with Violet? I'm going to try and, and come up with an idea, a proposal that for the, because as, as Shari said, to go out to the business people first and get a reading from them, you know, dress nicely, that kind of stuff, so that it looks like some fun. And maybe the chamber too, if it's going to be, you know, but wouldn't you have to um, kind of think of the, um, like the occasion that it's going to be celebrating or whatever before you ask the restaurants? Yeah. Um, um, I would say that 
the Chamber of Commerce um, had a, increased their membership, um, especially amongst restaurants this past spring or just this past summer, because they were instrumental in organizing the um, outside dining. So I think working with the chamber, that might be an event that they might want to get behind. Yeah. Especially if the easels can be outside. Right. So that's you know. what I'm saying. It would have to be maybe because this, people are going to be starting school. And I think people have to kind of settle in whether they're going to be in two, then sort of get into a rhythm. So I think maybe perhaps late September or early October. Early October, yeah. So that, you know, people are settled in. And before it gets, again, too cold for people to be outside, for people to be right. walking around. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. And, um, and I think also um, a lot of people are away. I guess they're, they're getting to wherever their, their summer yeah. places are and that they're not, they're even quieter than it has been um, for a little while. So that might be some another reason that we don't want to really start pushing <laughs> until... Well, we would wait until after Labor Day, yeah. um, I think, and until our other project is done. And hopefully we'll get some traction around that project once it starts going and we'll get, we'll collect some emails and we'll, um, the, the one thing is as difficult as the pandemic is for us, I think it's also an opportunity for us to be seen. Um, and, you know, we, we're starting out with something that we've never done before, which is this mask uh, initiative. Um, and it's, it's really caused us to work with the library um, in a way that we have not before. Mm -hmm. and, and now maybe other organizations as well. And, you know, we're experimenting. So I think we'll have some experience that we can take to this next project by September. So I think what's important is that we define a theme, whether it's dreams or hopes or art yeah. during the pandemic. I think the theme should should be an advantage to us as an arts council. So um, I, I would really, I, I How know about it is. visions of Mamaroneck? Visions of Mamaroneck? Maybe we should just kind of brainstorm these out. Yeah. I mean, you can, we can all, um, you know, email me and we'll bounce back ideas of what works um, because uh, for a while, there was a, a post on Facebook called Isolation Art mm -hmm. uh, that I was involved with for a little bit, where basically you tried to do one thing every day mm -hmm. for 30 days. Um, and it was, again, it was very across the board. People that obviously had never picked up a pencil before, you could tell that they weren't artists, but they all were working through their isolation because nobody was getting anybody else. Nobody was That's an interesting that. idea. Yeah. And 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 some of the artists are obviously trained very. I wish I drew like that and painted like that because they've got really great ideas. But it's sort of along that line of where on a much smaller level because they got global. They got people from Australia, New Zealand, England, right. Middle East, all over. But we could do something like that. And also it's a different concept when we have the Zoom because it allows us to bring in people that maybe aren't able to get out on a, on a regular basis anyway. Um, or either older people or people with, with issues that wouldn't come out, but with this maybe they would in a sense come out. Well, Nora and I were discussing something earlier today which, which uh, relates to this, um, which is getting other populations involved. So if, if we do this, there could be an art walk. There could also be a Zoom opening. Zoom art walk, yeah. Um, we, can, we can actually do an opening. We could, and then you know, we could include whatever our locations are. This is not what you and I talked about, Nora. But um, I'm, I'm thinking of yeah. Home on the Sound and what we were talking about. But we'll get to that later. Um, so I, I like this. I think that we would be best to table this just for a little while. Um, and meet in a subcommittee so that we can refine some of the ideas. Yeah. And just, um, who who would like to jump onto this committee? I'll, I'll certainly help. Yeah, I'll, I'll help because Violet and I live in the same complex, so we can just talk things through. Yeah. Okay. So I, I can help in, in you know in little ways. All right. All right, and I'll, I'll work on it as well. And uh, if anybody else wants to get involved, Joyce Marie, you're out there. I know that you might want to get involved. So, um, you know, 
just let's be in touch. If you want, whoever wants to get involved, oh, shoot me an email and I'll make sure that, you know, we distribute that. So we, we need a theme, we need a target date. Um, we need some kind of approach to go to the chamber or to retailers or restaurants, more like restaurants, maybe some retailers too. Um, you know, think of how we can benefit them by, by doing this. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to say this to you. So think about Larchmont right now, brilliantly did their concrete barriers um, Larchmont al fresco. And what happened is that, and you've all seen this, right? On the barracks by their random, mm -hmm. which was brilliantly done and they did it fast. Yeah. But what that did is that in front of every restaurant now you have that kind of signage. All right. So if you think about doing, and Cheryl, you said the right thing, if I may, if you put those things on an easel and you see them outside as I walk, yeah. as you walk down the street, you're starting to create an identity as well. Yep. So if, if we can create that, and also maybe in an image um, in the proposal, they see that, you know, like two restaurants with things in front of them. So they understand what you're saying immediately. That may help them as well. So that you're giving them an identity. Mm -hmm. okay. Good point, Dan. Yeah. And um, I know it's, this is probably not the time, but we do have a very large Hispanic population that doesn't, I don't know how involved they are in the arts or in contributing to what's going on here. Oh, speaking of, did you send the um, Community Resource Center the poster? No. There, you, we should definitely... Uh... Do people go there? Should I bring them masks? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Um, Randy, Randy Martinez. Randy, right. So they're open right now? I don't know. Uh, I can't imagine that they wouldn't be. Yeah. All right. No, I, I'd love to think to your uh, question, Violet. I would, I, I feel strongly that we need to tap into um, the uh, Hispanic population in our town in a, in a really focused yeah. way. So mm -hmm. to be very inviting um, and to think about how to do that. Maybe we can get somebody on our committee. We're, we'll take all volunteers. Um, no, because, so. you know, I spoke Spanish before I spoke English. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a, it's a different thing, but they still, I see them out there all the time doing their thing and, mm -hmm. you know, some form of identity that pulls them in and pulls us all in as a community, which is a benefit to everyone. Absolutely. And they do, um, they do all different kinds of art classes through the CRC. They have jewelry making and because um, every year I, I give them a table at the Arts and Crafts Fair and they make the most beautiful beaded jewelry. And, and I know that Jackie, we were talking once about trying to do um, a children's art class for them. Um, so I know that they, they do things like that. Uh -huh. So right. it, it would be really nice to have um, more, you know, stuff that we do with them. I agree. I'd, I'd be, I would be happy to be involved with that. Mm -hmm. I'm an, I was an art teacher. Yeah, that's right. So now that you can see me, this is what my mask is. Oh, a lot higher. Nice. It, I tried to do a flag. It didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to. And it says fight intolerance if you can't read that. So that's what I tried to do. Yeah, no, you did it. And uh, I tried and originally to do, my original plan was to have half a rainbow and half the flag, but the letters wouldn't, I couldn't, I can't, what, I did that part first. And when I tried to do the letters, it just kept getting worse and worse. You couldn't see anything, no matter what I tried. So. Yeah, that, that's a tip for anybody um, that's going to take these masks on. Small letters are really tricky. Um, you've got to go yeah. big. So Well, I, you know. I originally started, I wanted to do it as a stencil. So I, I hand stenciled them because any other time I've used stencils, you know, like through a sheet, I never make the letters even, you know, by moving, you know, by moving the sheet, they're never on the same line. So I tried to hand do them had to get another mask because 
I ran out of room with the word intolerance. So yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure one. you did. And, and I, I redid it, and it, it it was it just got very hard, and then it got too dark, and it got I couldn't make. I I tried white paint. I tried um, silver and gold. You know. Um, sharp piece to make it stand out and it just wouldn't stand out. So that's the best I can do. Yeah, well, well thanks for doing that. <laughs> I will be turning the, it in. You're the first just, effort I've seen, so thanks for that. <laughs> I did try. <laughs> yes, you did. Um, so we've got um, Joyce Marie, Jane, Violet, and me that are going to be involved in the next project in Art on the Avenue so far. And anybody else that wants to jump in, you'll let us know. Um, the next thing on the agenda is stepping stones at the harbor. Yeah, so I didn't know that uh, Jane yeah. was stepping down and I had emailed her and she never responded. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, she's the one who said, in the beginning that she has all the materials and that she could do it. And so now if uh, I don't know, like the, I don't have uh, access to that. The only thing that I could do is get the kits, you know, they sell the stepping stone kits, but I don't know that that's, um, you know, viable. I don't know. It was different when there was somebody who, yeah. Yeah, when she was right across the street from the harbor, she was really invested in a lot of ways. Um, right, to getting her kids doing it. It changes the whole project. Yeah, it really does change the project. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna say, if it's something that we really, really, really want to do, I can try to figure it out. If it's something that we're all kind of like, oh yeah, it's a nice idea, then why don't we work on these other projects first that I feel I think that are viable. Good. And then once we're past that, then that's something we can revisit because the reality is, I, I don't know if anything's changed, but for some reason, the um, Marine Education Center Advisory Board just had no um, enthusiasm for working with us. I mean, not Kyle and the mm -hmm. people who run it, they, they absolutely do, but the people on the advisory board didn't, so. Maybe we just. Maybe it's not meant to be right now. Not right now. I think it's a great idea. And I think that yeah. uh, one of these days we should really think about doing it seriously, but it doesn't have to be right now. Hmm. I also wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if, if and when things, I mean, when things get better, uh, Jamie may want to step back in. Um, yeah, she she right. did say that. So even if she doesn't step back in as a member, maybe after this whole thing. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. She she yeah. said she wants to be involved yeah. still, so that's good. Right. You know, it's a it's a big messy thing to do, so it's better if you are able to get people together and get the energy of people making things all at once, and that's yeah. not right. That's not simply not possible right now. Right, I agree. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, let's, spring, we'll all be dancing around outside. <laughs> well, so let's not scrap hey. it completely. We'll just postpone it a little bit. Yeah, I, I think that sounds Coco good. Coco has some ideas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, before I go on, is there oh, any other business uh, yeah. that anybody wants to share, again. bring up? No. No, tomorrow. I will say that I, as I said in the note, I miss Shakespeare on Saturday night, and I'm hoping we get to do it again next year. I know. So many things we all wanted to do this year that nobody did this year. Yeah. Absolutely. Had, Larry, um, are you into working on that next year? Yeah, absolutely. Larry, are you in? That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, oh, no, no. I, I go to all, all the performances at the Shakespeare up there. Oh, uh -huh. I'm in. Okay. Yeah, and, that, I, and, and I wanted to be Shakespeare on Friday afternoon as well. So, <laughs> next year. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh, that's right. You had said that. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm great at the art. I got oh, the I just got that. Just I just got that. What he meant. <laughs> for Shakespeare, for the, Shakespeare at the Harbor for next summer. Yeah. Good. We've got our Shakespeare. Um, all right. Uh, so two things. One is um, we 
what what can we as the council do as a council do that's specific and um, particular to this moment to COVID? I mean, we we've already we're involved already in doing something. Somebody have water on or something? Did somebody else hear that? It's an echo. Something you can hear it. No, let me see what it is. Hmm. It sounds like there's um, something outside or something else. It's a new sound. I don't know what it is, but anyway. Um, well, we can try. It's not it was coming from Solange. Let me I'll try and mute her so it happens. Oh, it's Solange. Okay. okay. Thanks, Dan. It stopped. Yes, I, I'm sorry for muting you, Solange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to, to get some input as to, you know, what, what role can, can the arts play at this moment? And just a conversation around that. Um, how, how can we show up for the community? How can we be healing? How can we provide inspiration? How can we um, bring art to populations that could really use a visit right now, like uh, the elderly, um, people that are isolating for health reasons? You know, what, what can we do? What should, I mean, I, I, I would like to do something that uh, really serves this moment if, if there is something, I think we're trying. Um, but what else, what else, what else should we be thinking about? Is there? Nora, is there a tent set up someplace, the village, a large tent for gatherings of some type? No, well, we really can't have gatherings. I mean, gatherings are- No, 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 I understand that. But I'm just saying, is there a large tent someplace? No, there's a small tent um, that's being used for the courtroom outside Village Hall. Okay. Courtroom space, but- um, there's a tent that gets rented for camp, but that didn't happen this year. So, what are you thinking about, Larry? Um, so, I'm going to Buffalo in a couple of weeks. I, I'm a, a rep for furniture, and they're holding a, um, a fair, but basically, it's at the back, at a, outside my car. I will be socially distanced from somebody else. They will have, I'll wear a mask, the designers coming around will wear a mask, there'll be fewer of them, so we're not bunched together, but at least we're together in some area that we can actually have some a bit of a conversation. And I'm just trying to think about how do you keep somewhat of what we've done in the past, how do we keep moving forward with some of that, like the, um, the crafts fair. If we had ability, to, and you can't just hold it outside because you can add to 10 on the weather. But if there's a tent of somehow and you socially distance everybody, you have the ability, therefore, with caution, or and I agree with that, to have people go around and still interact with one another appropriately. All right. So I'm just saying, is there some venue that has a tent that we can now start to do think to think of and of, of gathering people outside? That's all I'm doing. For instance, I'm on the worship committee at my temple, and the question of Rosh Hashanah is how do you blow a shofar? That's the big part of the service. And they now think you're doing it in a park in New Rochelle. So that everybody's separated, but at least they can do that and you can have people together as a community distance away. That's why. Or if I go back to the, I'm gonna get it wrong, the um, for the Black Lives Matter when we gathered in Harbor Island Park, you know, I think if anybody was there. That's a different story. That's a First Amendment issue. So those those kinds of those kinds of First Amendment protests or gatherings are not don't have to follow the fifty. Um, we yeah, yeah, we, we so, weren't going to do anything to a, a crowd exercising their First Amendment rights. Right, but we yeah, so it had to be anyone who anyone who does craft shows like Lindhurst has, has they have tents. But we can't really set up a situation where we don't know who's coming. You'd have a reservation to come. There would only be 50 people at a time. I mean, I'm, I'm, we, we can't hold a gathering with more than 50 people. So if you had 10 artists, you could have 40 patrons. Okay. So, I mean, that rule's pretty firm. I don't know how um, everybody else feels, but I, I'm... Uh, disinclined to stand behind anything that creates a gathering. Um, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know? Absolutely. And, and, and by the way, Nora, what I'm doing at Buffalo is just what you said. There'll be 10 mm -hmm. vendors and 40 designers. Right. So, See. you know, that's how they're doing it. So I think for, I think for us to do that, we would have to take reservations. That, you know, I th I think it's I think it's um a, a lot of work for the for the village staff to organize because there has to be a reservation process. There has to be security and enforcement of social distancing. So yeah, I'm not, that's a real pain to deal with. Yeah, you need at least one or two other people just to you know take temperatures as people come in. Yeah. But maybe the question. <laughs> What, what I'm hearing a couple of things, Larry. It seems like you're a vendor, and and the designers aren't coming to you, so that's mm -hmm. more trade oriented. And we're we're talking about something that's a little bit more consumer oriented. So I, I think there's a distinction right there because you you have to do that. I mean, it, it, I think it's mm -hmm. useful. Um, I'm wondering if we could, set, Nora. You mentioned to me that that the the village has the ability to do a Zoom from ten to what did you say, ten thousand people? Like ten thousand like? people. I think yeah. we can do like a, a town hall of 10,000 people. I mean, that's that's kind of too many, but I think we have a, a, I don't think we've ever reached our capacity. So Sherry, what do you think about the possibility or exploring the possibility of um, the crafts fair and doing almost like a QVC channel and maybe getting some high school kids to, um, you know, take that on as a, as a community service or a project. Yeah. So, and, um, and funny you should mention that because I um, subscribe to a Facebook page called, um, uh, wait, I want to get this right. It's a Native American um, group who they're out of, wait, hang on, I want to get this right. They're out of like Arizona or something, and um, they, of course, now that I'm talking about it, I'm not going to be able to find it anywhere on. <laughs> it's the Gremlins. It's the yeah. Gremlins. All right. Well, I, I, I could, I could get you all the real name of it, but anyway, it's like socially distant powwow, what they've called it, or something. <laughs> and I love it. It's an arts yeah. and crafts. Um, what they do is they have like uh, this, these big buildings that have colonnades in front of them and they're in Arizona and it's an arts and crafts fair for Native American arts and crafts. And it's, you know, set up mainly for tourists and people, but uh, beautiful, beautiful things. And because of COVID, they're not allowed to do it anymore. And of course there are no tourists anyway. So they went online and they, each vendor um, can post, they, for them, they have to prove that they are part of um, uh, a, a tribe somewhere and they're authentic and they're allowed to post their wares um, with a link to where you can buy. Uh, some people just sell things via um, their email back and forth and pay, they take PayPal or whatever. And so, I, I subscribe to this group to see their art and every day I get like there's 10 posts from 10 different artists and you can go on to their group and peruse or you could wait to get the, um, the post from them but each individual artist posts through this group and I was thinking that's a really good way to do an arts and crafts fair thing because that doesn't limit the amount of artists you can yeah. have. And, and we don't have to jury anything. Um, you know, anyone who wants to do this can do that. And so I think what we do is set up um, a Facebook group and I can figure out how people become vendors allowed to post and how, you know, PR and stuff like that. So, so it can be done virtually is what I'm saying. I love that. I would love to see that uh, website. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you the the link. Because the village probably can't get involved in actually selling things online, but we could certainly promote artists. Right. I mean, it doesn't. Well, I mean, if we do it, the it won't be attached to the village necessarily. It'll be a group, you know, and which I'm happy to to run. You know, sounds like I, I love that. And. It doesn't have to be just one or two days. We could have it just be an ongoing thing. That could work. That would be better probably yeah. because 
Yeah. I mean, I, I did think post, I did post all my shadow when I joined Instagram I basically did a shadow box of the day and I got a lot of likes and comments but nothing you know no sales so maybe but at least I posted things up there right you know on an Instagram page but this would be a good this would be a good way to show things off because you can also do for each post you can also do more than one picture so you can kind of do it like a virtual table right and you'd be allowed to put your link to yeah. if you have a Nazi shop or whatever. Right. I mean, maybe we do our art fair on an Instagram page as well, you know, because I know my daughter has participated in, uh, what's it called, Field and Supply. I don't know if you know that fair, it's up in, in Hudson. And um, and they, they put all of their vendors on an Instagram page and then there's a link to, to the vendors, to the artists' um, Sorry, websites. Sorry, Sorry? Call them artists. Artists? Not Thanks, vendors, George Murray. Yeah. Okay. Um, artists. <laughs> they, they're, they're selling their art, which is why I meant, ven I used that word, but you're. I know. You're I, know. Right. I, I just worked at the craft shows for so long. No, okay, you're right. <laughs> artists. Know. Thanks if for that. We do it, if we do it through Instagram, I would definitely need a teenager's help. <laughs> yeah, because help I, you. I could do almost anything on Facebook, <laughs> Instagram. Instagram is very easy. I, for some reason, well, you know what happens? I have, I get both my personal Instagram and the Village of Americanic Arts Council Instagram on my phone. And then when I try to link things on my personal one, it goes automatically to the Arts Council one and I can't get it back. I mean, it's, I just <laughs> can't, like, it just eludes me. So, so yes, uh, even if it's, my, my kids can help me too if they're home, so. Um. Well, I you know, I mean, right next students could get community service for working on that. Yeah, and I think, um, was it Asha O'Reilly? Yeah, I think it was Asha. Yeah. 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 Right. So, um, she's very nice. I like her a lot. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And her mom's now on the school board. Oh, wait, Davina is her mother? Yep, Davina is her mother. Yep, yep. Oh, I did not do that. Yep. <laughs> good volunteers the whole family yeah seriously so yeah so it you know and she and asha wanted to do something so maybe that's yep. something that she she works on me with that would be great and you know what we want we that was kind of the purpose of having the artist registry was that mm -hmm. artists local artists can sell things and they could communicate with each other and this is a great way to do it it doesn't have to be just in december this could be just an ongoing yeah. thing that we have it could be launched in december and then keep on going right yep. exactly and you know we've been through the whole artist registry thing over and over and over and it never gets done it's a huge project and it's definitely i personally feel it's beyond one person doing. So maybe we start this way. Once we get people on board yeah. with this, we have their uh, contact names. So it's a start of our registry, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we could build the registry from this. It, with this, we have an offering. With the registry, we didn't have anything to offer them really. Right. right. So. So yeah. this, this makes our job, um, it, it gives us a reason <laughs> for... Uh... If you want, um, or if everyone's on board with this, I could send Asha um, an email and tell her what you know we were thinking and, and maybe she and I can get together and we could start working on it because it's August, September, I mean, right. I don't Since know. Before how... you know it, right. Yeah, exactly. And she's probably very up in the air right now with school, not knowing what's going to go on with school. So yeah. I'd like to get her before um, she has that on her mind. That would be great. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I love that. Thanks. All right. So, so we have three things. We have the masks, we have the art on the avenue, and we have um, so, the, uh, uh, the, the art fair on Instagram. Yeah. You have to adapt to the times. And then uh, maybe and maybe the music if if that works out. With Jackie. Oh, on the on the avenue? Music on the avenue. No, yeah. the music thing. Remember she was working with um Jason? 
I, to possibly the yeah yeah the, the I think it was on the avenue he wanted oh, right. they wanted to the avenue yes yes mm -hmm. yeah. so there okay so that would be the fourth that letter went to um, that letter was sent to Latimer about what we can do and cannot do right mm -hmm. that's, that's what we were yeah reading. and you know it wasn't on the avenue they had, what Jason was talking about was having it um, in the park because of the ability to social distance. You had to have a certain amount mm -hmm. of square footage um, to people ratio, and it's easier to do it um, in the park. So I don't, I haven't heard but that. I think, one, I think one of the problems is, is the 50 person limit. Yeah, and we really can't organize an event that has more than 50 people, so. But, but what George was talking about was it's a 50 person limit but there was something about an outdoor thing that we, it would have to be put on, um, what's the event thing where you- Eventbrite, event right, event right. Like Brand we could do right. something where, yeah, we could, we have could whether or not we charge. Yeah. And you know, you'd have to get a, a free ticket or whatever, but, but he said, didn't he say something like, um, if you have a bigger square footage, you can have more people? I, I think that, I think that it's clear. I don't think there's any resolution to it. I think like both the county and some other communities have done um, outside movies, like drive-in movies, but people are limited to their car. Right. You come with your group, yeah. and, and so they're spaced out that way. Um, and then it's been limited. I think they've had maybe 100 cars, but the people have had to be in their cars. Yeah. It's like, it's, so basically it's small groups of like six and under. So I think a concert is different because there's no physical barrier between people. We're going to end up with a <laughs> like the Southampton party. Where yeah, so and I, you know, on top yeah. Of my worry about that, and I, I don't want to be a downer, but who's going to be willing to police people wearing masks if they're not socially distant? And that's, that's, yes, yeah, that's, 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 it's hard. That's a that's a I, I think it's much too hard. It's, Maybe something for next summer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, there are so many good things that we have discussed tonight that we can do online. Um, we'll see. We'll see what Jason comes up with and, and what, what is out there and if it makes sense to participate. Um, but, I, you know, things could get trickier. We all know that this fall. So Absolutely. Um, I think we really need to be uh, super conservative about what, what we think about putting our name behind also. Um, so I just want to cover one thing so that we um, end at a reasonable time. I mean, another thing, uh, which is this idea of, um, well, Nora and I were speaking about this earlier. So Nora, you might want to jump in. Um, possibly thinking about getting to other populations like the senior population um, and Nora had mentioned home on the sound and and that they are doing they are doing right already Nora some zoom well, I, events I think they are trying to do some zoom events yes but they, um, they you know they do a week they do a monthly program or more that they do a monthly program and they do other activities and those are sort of limited I was wondering if we could partner with them and do something that would be a program for them Jane, do you think um, we could get some kids to do poetry live, like bring that back a little bit, and you know maybe on a couple of Zoom dates share poetry? Yeah, I think we could probably could. Doesn't have to be kids. No, no. Just, just just a thought since we've already done poetry live. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anybody uh, have any well, ideas you, around that? Do you think that the kids who couldn't participate in poetry live in March would be willing to record their poems at home? That would be, and do it that idea. way. Yeah. And it would be limited. I, I, I would love like, that. I mean, maybe that would be an option. Yeah, um, I, was, I was thinking about that as a possibility as we were uh, talking just now that uh, Poetry Live could somehow go online with a representative um, these students. Yeah, Jane, let's explore that with yeah. with our contacts. 
All right. All right. All right. We'll, okay. we'll talk about it separately. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll see about Poetry Live. Um, also, uh, the idea of possibly providing either sheets or coloring books or something like that that we leave off at the library um, for people to come up and we, we can maybe put some kits together. And Nora has this beautiful um, coloring book. It's called Westchester Sound Shore. Her daughter, Molly, did it. And it's a, a coloring book of Sound Shore landmark for kids from six to 106. Wow. And um, it's really beautiful, Nora. This is like Harbor Island Park. There's a history here. It, it's also such a, I think it's a great way of, you know, we're talking about the art on the avenue of getting people to really think about art in Mamaroneck. And yeah. um, it's not just Mamaroneck. Um, yachting on the Long Island Sound, and there's, you know, there are illustrations nice. that she's done, and it's all meant for coloring, um, with a lot of resources and historical information attached to it. So, um, I don't know how much it would cost to have these made, or, well, yeah, to have this book recreated, um, or something else like that, or if we want to give out some sheets with well, yeah, there's, there's a website that I use occasionally. I mean, I get his email. Um, I get the emails all the time when, when he has new ideas. It's called freeprintables.net. Mm -hmm. And they occasionally have coloring pages or you can go to, you know, click on the, the link at the bottom and you can, you can look up coloring pages and they have coloring pages for all, you know, different, um, you know, different occasions and different ideas and you just print them out you download them and print them out so maybe we could do something like that yeah. I mean, this book is all a pdf and it was designed to be it's on the rise um, historical society website that was our project sponsor but i'm sure we could you know nobody it's on a bunch of different websites so people could download specific parts of it but i'm just showing that as something that you know there could be a contest people could do their own drawing of something that could end up being a, you know on our on our on our page yeah Maybe maybe we can uh, extract all of the village of Mamaroneck or you know yeah, Mamaroneck. I can, yes, I'm, I don't think there's a problem getting permission. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's another thing that we can talk about. The library is super eager to work with us. Um, they're they're trying to get people to think about the library, to use the library as a resource, to go online with them, and anything that we can do to help them would be appreciated. And and then we're helping other people too. So yeah. um, does anybody want to work on the coloring book? Um, I maybe maybe we can put like a little kit together of um, you know colored pencils or, or markers or something like that. We can explore what the cost of that would be um, and work with home on the sound. Um, and then as who an was the pause? Who's the audience? But did, did Joyce Marie say something too? Who was I said the audience? Pause. Who, who was the score? Crave pause. Crave pause. Well, if it's Home on the Sound, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's 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 um, elderly and um, people uh, are homebound, right? Some of them are homebound. But, but, uh, people. I mean, it's people who not. want to stay in their homes in well, the greater Sound Shore area. Right, but they're not always. It's not everybody who's homebound, and they have knitting groups. I mean, they have. They do. They, I think you know, they Megan Williams is teaching a film dance group. class. What? They have a film group, I think, too. Now right? they have a Zoom group, but I know they have. They they do get together, and I think now just people aren't getting together, so I think their programs are limited. So, and I just think that might be a natural local audience for the Arts Council to you know provide programming for. Yeah. Yeah, I I know they have. I think they have a book group at the library. They had a book group, I think. Well, well, the the library has a right book now. group? Yeah, I think they have a book group. I mean, we could also do a book group. But, you know. Um, I, the library I, is doing some book groups. Yeah, I think too. the library. They, they have the community read. Yeah, yeah. And they're doing really well with that, actually. Yeah. They have a lot of participants right now. So, um, so, so people want to be involved. And I think it would be great to tap into that as well. Um, and the more people we tap into, the more people will pay attention to the other things that we're doing. So it all feeds. Yeah. Uh, so I don't have anything else except that we are going to be looking 
for more members to join us. Uh, so, um, I've, I've spoken to a couple of people, but you know, if uh, we don't have to discuss that right now, but something to keep in mind um, that we're going to be wanting to fill the spot. And I think we're looking for people that can bring um, something unique, especially energy, but and commitment, but something unique. Uh, perspective, experience, um, willingness, what, whatever it is to, to our organization. You know, I thought about one more thing. I just, I, um, I did escape my house in April and I went to my Maranac High School to look at the murals that have been painted. They aren't WPA murals, but they were related to WPA and there were WPA artists who participated. And um, the murals were in, the, were in the cafeteria, but that space has been subdivided. So they're now, there are six murals are not all in the same location. Um, but at the same time, there were two murals at the Larchmont Library and two murals at the Mamaronic Public Library that were painted. Those were WPA murals. And um, that might be a combination like historical society and library and arts council program, because it's, you know, I, that might be just, I think that might be a, that would be not, an, not a complicated program to put together, but not an easy program to put together either. So it might be, you know, two or three or almost, four organizations that would participate. Almost every famous artist of the 50s, uh, 60s uh, period had started out with in WPA projects. Yeah. I think and it's what's so WPA? important. The what works project, Works Progress Administration. So it was oh, okay. the 1930s. A wartime, yeah, it was a depression era project to, to, to fund. And it was started, I mean, the precursor was done in New York State and that's what by, by, by um, Roosevelt. And so then when, we, when he became president, he put this into, into play. So there's, 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 if there were writers programs, they did all the guidebooks for all sorts of cities. There were music programs and there were art programs and they ended up usually being public murals. The Mamaronic, murals weren't WPA murals, although, but, and actually a couple of students painted a mural. So the history of that's very interesting. And it all ties into James Fenimore Cooper that was all related to his history, which is also the history of the Mamaronic mural. So that might be like a program that could link everybody together, a whole bunch of different organizations and be on a Zoom. And that's something at home that the sound or the library, either one would like. Yeah, yeah, everybody would like it. Mm -hmm. Right. Very satisfactory idea. Yes, I like this very much. Um, well, a lot, uh, a lot was shared tonight. I feel really uh, great about what the next few months can look like. Hey, Marina, just a question. Um, would you like to receive suggestions for names for the Arts Council? I can mail you separately. You can mail you separately. Yes, absolutely. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you. Um, anybody else have anything else that they'd like to bring up? Just roll down. <laughs> Are you still writing, Violet? <laughs> I'm writing, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to make uh, any sense of it, but I'll try and I'll send it out. Hopefully, you got the ones the minutes from last time. So thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, we'll look forward to those minutes. <laughs> Um, well, thanks so much. Everybody brought a lot of good ideas and energy here tonight. I really, really appreciate it. And I, I feel excited because um, it, it's hard not getting together. Yeah. Um, That's the downside with all absolutely. of this, the, the, so, the desocialization, no matter what the situation is. Yeah. You know, it's like I do stuff. I do a lot of stuff from home and it was like being it's like I didn't mind. I'd walk Coco and, you know, I'd walk him twice a day and then the rest of the day I'd do stuff at home. It was more like it was my, when it was my choice, I didn't have a problem with it. When it was being forced on me, I had the problem with it. Yeah. You know, it's something I did every day. I didn't really go out of the house. If I, if I didn't need to go shopping, I didn't go out of the house until, you know, I'd walk him in the morning and then walk him at night. And in the meantime, I'm in the house. So when it became forced on me, I'm like, I don't like this. It was, it, it was a really weird experience. Yeah. And then the weather was bad. You couldn't even go out if you wanted to. Well, that the weather, the weather didn't. You know, it 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 made me laugh at the beginning when the weather was so bad because I'm like, you know, when 
you know, like in March and April when, when the weather was that bad, it, w it was kind of funny to me. It's like, well, nobody wants to go out now anyway. You can't go out. It's too nasty. But when it started to get nicer and they're telling you, you know, on the, on the really nice days and you're being forced to stay inside, you're not allowed outside, it just be became more surreal. Like the whole, this whole year has been surreal. And I've, I've seen a lot of memes on, on Instagram, um, in in March, like the end of March, I saw, okay, I've had my three month, my 90 day uh, free trial of 2020. Can I get my money back? Um, can we get, can we restart 2020? This one came with a virus, you know, things like that. So, you know, I haven't seen any in a long time. I guess people are not really, they're, they're more sick of it than trying to make jokes of it. But those were the two best that I saw. Yeah. Well, okay. it, it, it is really hard, and, it, and um, we also have to keep our eyes on the prize. I mean, we have to stay well and, um, uh -huh. you know, wish everybody around us the same, because that, uh -huh. that's the bottom line. Right. So, well, thanks, we'll Marina. Well. Thanks for doing can I, this. Can I, I have, can, I just, I have, can I say one thing? Yeah. Um, keeping our eye on the prize. So there's a group um, in the village that is or organizing a Juneteenth celebration and parade and festival for June 19th next next year 2021 which is a yeah. Saturday and um, so I'm thinking that it might be great for um, the Arts Council to participate in some art aspect of it in, in, in the festival aspect which hopefully will be in Harbor Island Park hopefully we'll all be able to have a parade and a festival <laughs> yeah. um, but there are, I, I think that that might be something that the Arts Council might want to participate in so I just wanted to throw that out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are we done for the evening, ladies? I think so. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did this. I've missed you all a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we miss uh, you, Joyce Marie. Thank you. I'm so happy, Solange. Thank you for uh, <laughs> sharing the information with Joyce Marie. I'm so happy that you're joining us. It it always feels horrible not to have you with us. So thank you. Thank you, dear. So I call to close the meeting. Anybody second me? I'll second it. Is that Jane? Yep. Okay. See you next month and we'll see what we come thank up you, with. Thank you, Dan, for setting us up. And yeah, thank, you, uh, thank you to everybody for being here. Okay. It made me yeah, feel so you. good. And I can't wait to get moving on some of these programs. Okay. I will definitely take my, my mask. I just want to, I try to keep it till today to show you. And then I have all the computer problems. So I'm glad that I was oh, yeah, able go to drop access it off. show people. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye -bye. you.